Welcome to the Clap Back with Julie Raginsky, where we take back Twitter from the trolls, so haters may hate, but this comrade claps back. This week, President Trump honed his tweets and time on the retail giant Nordstrom for dropping first daughter Ivanka Trump's clothing line. Tweeting, my daughter Ivanka has been treated so unfairly by Nordstrom. She's a great person, always pushing me to do the right thing. Terrible exclamation point. Nordstrom executives say the reason they dropped the brand is that it's not selling well, prompting me to ask, what is unfair about people not wanting to buy her brand? Capitalism. And then I suggested that the first daughter can try designing clothes consumers actually want to buy. This all set off a torrent of Twitter defenders explaining to me it's simply a father defending his daughter who was unfairly targeted because of who her father is. It's surprising that trolls get on liberals for being so sensitive. But let's continue to Ross's tweet at me. Quote, Julie, your father would do the same for you were he being persecuted and you got fired from Fox. <laughs> Get off your high horse. Well, since you asked about my dad, he loves me. He would do anything for me. But the one thing he would never do and the one thing I would never ask him to do is stick up for me on Twitter for two reasons. One is he's a little too old to tweet and he's, by the way, the same age as our president. And the other reason is my dad actually raised me to fight my own fights, which is how I've been successful in life. I don't need daddy to come and bail me out, as so many people do, including Ivanka. And finally, I would also just add this. My father does not move markets. He's not the president of the United States. And that's why if my father were to stick up for me, which I would never ask him to, it wouldn't be a conflict, but it is when the president of the United States can affect Nordstrom's stock price. By the way, Nordstrom closed up for the day after Donald Trump's tweet. And finally, I tweeted about the Washington Post story on our newest national security advisor, Michael Flynn, having misled the public about having conversations about sanctions with the Russian ambassador before Trump's inauguration. Well, this translating troll tweeted me in Russian. By the way, very clearly using Google Translate, which is not that great. Julie, why don't you say goodbye already? This was tweeted to me in some, some form of Russian from Google Translate. Well, since you're tweeting to me in Russian, I would say this. Я очень рада, что вы изучаете русский язык, потому что ваши лидеры скоро заставят вас на нем разговаривать. Which translates to, I'm glad you're learning the language of our new overlords because they are going to force you to learn it very soon, my friend. By the way, if you're going to clap at me in Russian, I'll clap back at you in the same language. So trolls, to summarize, read an economics book on capitalism and do not rely on Google Translate. I'm Julia Raginsky with Fox News.